World War II has finally come to an end with the Yalta Conference between the Big Three, FDR, Joseph Stalin, and Winston Churchill, dividing up the spoils of the war, with the US to say a full occupation of Japan. Thirty years since the Yalta Conference and Japan still rests beneath the boot of the US of A. This is what current President Phoenix Wright had to say about Japanese sovereignty. The question of Japanese sovereignty is still a loud and clear no for the releasing of Japan would mean it should soon fall into the hands of communism. That is one great technique for the people. With Russia being the first nation to land men on the moon, tensions could not be higher between the two superpowers. We are seeing protests in Japan of unprecedented proportions. Do you think world peace would have been possible had Phoenix Wright not been assassinated? I think that that is the dumbest question I have ever been asked. Most of the protesters demanding statehood, others are demanding independence from America. Governor Shinzo Abe of Japan has called in the National Guard to take care of the protest. The USSR and the USA rivalry may soon come to a head as the two are now exchanging threats of nuclear war. And with the assassination of Soviet Premier Gorbachev merely five years ago, it seems that the Soviet hold on East Berlin and West Germany is not going to give up very soon. The U.S. military entering DEFCON 2 for the first time since the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Japanese and communist scum need to be taken care of! is ready. Where's your rent? What? Where's your rent? Uh, yeah, no, I really gotta go. I'm heading out for work right now. We can talk about it when I get back, though. I know you don't have a job. Where is your rent? This is not a drill, this is not a test, this is an EAS broadcast to alert you that the US military has gone into DEFCON 1 after non-nuclear Soviet missile strikes on LA, New York City and Miami, please stand by for further instruction.
Oh, God. All right, people, let's move in a calm, orderly fashion towards the doors. Okay, um... Stop! Nothing waits for you beyond that door other than nuclear radiation. Get down here. I... Alright. Jeez. Who are you people? If you must know, I am Dr. Kleiner. The man to my left is Dr. Gordon Freeman. The woman to my right is Alex Vance. The starfish in front of you is Professor Patrick. And the crow is Professor Crow. Professor Crow? He's just a bird. If you just call me a bird, that is a generalization and it is offensive talk, to my I'm kind. sorry, man. Jesus. What do I have to do this? Why can't you do it? You just have to call out three names, alright? Alright, fine. Uh, Shoto Todoroki. Yes. Um, Kagamine Lin. Yes. Monica, uh, M Monica, uh, what's her last name? We don't know. Monica. Yeah. They're all here, sir. Excuse me, are we going to be told why we are here? We believe you three are from different universes. However, someone or something has taken you and put you into this one. This is what we in my community call an AU, or an alternate universe. This universe has not been to exist, and while this universe does exist, the universe which you once lived in no longer does. You have no recollection of your old universe, and that is just how they or it wants it. That is why it is me and my team's job to destroy AUs and return the people back to their original universes. I don't believe you. I refuse! Believe what you wish. We still need your help. Or help with what? Well, do you remember the nuclear holocaust? I... I thought that was a dream. More like a nightmare. Whatever the case, it was very much real. This was the final message from your president on TV before all signals were cut out with static. Please stand by for a message from the office of the president. My fellow Americans, I regret 
to inform you that as your government, and I as your president, have failed you in our duty to keep the people of this nation safe. There will be millions of casualties on both sides. However, our hope is not yet lost. For once this is all over, I hope to rebuild from the ashes with you, to create a newer, better, stronger America. Alright, let's get the hell out of here! Let's go! Let's go! Still doesn't explain why we are here. You are here because we need the three of you to go back in time to stop the assassination of President Phoenix Wright. You do that, and it will prevent a line of assassinations which will lead to, along with the combination of a few other things, the nuclear holocaust. Hold on. Let's say all of this is true and not a bunch of BS. Why? Do we need to go back in time if you're just going to destroy this world anyways? The timeline of the AU sticks with you even after we've destroyed it and sent you back to your own universe. Being Japan stays a puppet of the US, Phoenix Wright is assassinated, and the nuclear holocaust happens in 2015. Meaning our work would be for nothing. So you need to go in t back in time, stop the assassination of Phoenix Wright, and then, we'll get you back to your universes. Well, why us? We have chosen you three because there's some type of aura around you, as if the world revolves around you. This happens in every AU. There are certain people that admit this aura. Alright, now, if all of the questions are done with, I will give you five minutes to make any last-minute preparations or whatever you need to do, and then I will take you down to the tunnels where you will be briefed on the mission. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Alright, then. Fine. You know what thing I don't get? What would that be, Dr. Kleiner? Well, it's that... Todoroki and Mr. Lin both already know each other. Yet, they seem to have no affiliation with Miss Monica. I don't understand why she emits this aura around her. You know, I don't think we've met before. No, we definitely haven't. I would remember a face like yours. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Mm, she likes you. Gee, what gave that one away, Sherlock? Oh, I get it now. They're love interests. Oh. oh, excuse me, Mr. Doctor, Professor, Science, whatever the freak you're called, we can hear you. This is an open room. Ah, yes, very sorry for intruding upon your conversation. It's called eavesdropping, sir. I'll keep that in mind. So, um, what do you like to do? Well, I have this video that I use to introduce myself to people. You know, introduce them to my personality. Hey, how you doing? I'm Monica, I'm 16, and when I die, I'm going to the VIP room of heaven. I've been a part of every club you can think of. The Math Club, the Chess Club, the Model UN Club, the Green Earth Club, the Computer Club. I'll even join the Occult Club if I'm into it, which I am not and never will be. I even have my own office in this school. I basically run these streets. You know, I really feel like I've built up a very good connection with most students at the school. They really seem to like me. Uh, excuse me! I'm trying to, like, study here, so maybe could you please leave? I'm trying to record a video here, so, like, I'm doing something right now? Alright, give me a minute. No, no, I'm not gonna give you a minute. You need to, like, leave, like, right now. I'm trying to study here. I'm trying to do something important. You're just making a video. Anyways, no! Leave, ya hippie! What did you just call me? I called you a hippie! Now leave and put on some shoes! 
Screw you, Yuri! Screw you, Monica! Let's leave. Let's... This is... Let's leave. Yeah. As I was saying, I've built up a very good relationship with most of the students and even the staff. Some of the teachers really seem to like Monica is an excellent student. She always gets good grades in my class. Um, and I mean, it's not like I deserve that office instead of her. I mean, she's only been a student here for two years, and I've been teaching here for 40, but that doesn't matter. She's an excellent student. Would you like me to redo that, or no? I'm Monica. I'm 16. I'm going to the VIP room to have a nice time. I'm a great student. I hate Yuri. I will not wear shoes. And that's me. Well, that was interesting. That that was odd. Like I thought it would be. Also, you don't wear shoes? No. Why? Why not? It's to send a statement about myself that I don't care what other people think. There were so many other ways to make that statement. I'm sorry. Does this? Does the fact that I not wear shoes bother you? Yes, for so many different reasons. I didn't even notice that until now. I'm never gonna not notice that. One day, I'm gonna be walking down the street and be like, she didn't wear shoes. For no good reason. Alright, Jerry, George, and Elaine, we gotta go. Um, who? You know, from Seinfeld. What's Seinfeld? It was a TV show from the 90s. It was so much more than just a TV show from the 90s. You know what? Doesn't even matter! Let's just go! Hello, you three. I am Odessa Cubbage, the weapons expert. Pick a gun, any gun. Pick a side piece, pick a knife. And I'll brief you on the mission once you get your weapons settled. There's a target over there for target practice. Alright. Oh. My. Goodness. It. It's like Christmas all over again. You got guns for Christmas? That is not what I meant, and you know it. Let's see your main weapons. A Luger. Hmm. You sure you want such a puny gun as your main weapon? Well, the other guns have a lot of kickback, and I'm not exactly greatly accustomed to that, so I guess a smaller gun would be better. Alrighty then. Miss Monica. I have chosen the USAS. Yeah, I can see that. Um, you see, that gun's gonna have a lot more kick back than most other guns, so you sure you can handle Of course I can. My dad used to take me to go and shoot a shotgun back when we were on the ranch. What? I... There are so many things wrong with that sense that I'm gonna pretend you didn't even say anything. Mr. Todoroki, you've chosen the scar, I see. You sure you can handle such a large, powerful weapon? Oh, well, would you look at you and your condescending attitude? Of course I can handle it. Yeah, he grew up in a gang. I did not grow up in a gang. I grew up in a family with gang members. And I had to learn how to defend myself just in case people wanted to come after my family members who were in a gang. Mm-hmm. Sure. Keep telling yourself that. I did not grow up in a gang! Why do we even need guns in the first place? Because we have no idea what awaits for you in those tunnels. The nuclear radiation could have turned people into anything. Dr. Kleiner, are you going to brief them on the mission or should- I believe you'll tell it better than I will. Alrighty, listen up you three, I'm only gonna say this once. I'm only gonna be with you for a short amount of time during the trip. 
All right. Now, we're going to be going through the tunnels. Uh, you're going to get to exit 405. Once you see exit 405, leave the tunnels. You're going to enter into the city of Watat Toro. All right. You're going to be in the industrial district of Watat Toro. There's going to be a factory. It's going to have a big box truck outside of it. We don't know exactly where the time machines are. However, we know that they're in a parking garage near that factory. You got it? You will be told what to do with the time machines once you get to them. Um, Dr. Kleiner, anything else to add? Well, yes, actually. Um, I need one of you to keep track of a phone so we can contact you. I can do it. Um, here you go. The number is 202-555-0190. This phone has a special transceiver on it. It can communicate through multiple different times and dimensions and all that. Alright. Um, yes. Thank you! Anything else to add, Dr. Kleiner? Why, yes. I will not lie. The road ahead will be paved with difficulty, not only making it through these tunnels, but the part that comes after that. Saving President Phoenix Wright. However, I believe in you. So, may the odds be ever in your favor. And good luck. Thank you, Dr. Kleiner. Um, I'd just like to add that I will be behind you guys. Um, I am not exactly equipped to be around you guys since I don't really have a moat to defend myself with. So, I'll be, uh, behind you guys. While you guys clear the path, I will be behind you. And, um, once you get to the warehouse, I'll be there, like, a few minutes after you. I get it. I have a gist of how these time machines work, so I think I would be a, of use to you. Alrighty. Let's head out.